Disclaimer! The following contains two individuals rambling slash talking about a 90s cartoon they both really enjoy. The following also contains some mild language commonly used by edgy hedgehogs and preteens. There are no strong words, I can assure you with that. I guess some level of viewer discretion is advised. I do not own any of the clips, audio, or pictures used in this video. They are property of their respective owners. Enjoy! Hello, YouTube! <laughs> Damn it! We should have done that at the same time! Wanna go for another thing? Yes! All right, please! All right, all right. Three, two, one. Hello, Hello YouTube! YouTube. <laughs> Right, there we go, there we go. That's done proper, done proper. Thank okay. you, especially with what we're talking about today. Yes, yeah, so, hello. Uh, welcome everyone to this uh, very special uh, collab video that I am putting together with my good friend and live streamer, Sora Master. Say hello. Hello there! How are you doing today? <laughs> I'm not sure if you haven't heard, because if you're not, because you're probably looking over one, but if you haven't heard, um, Hulu and Warner Brothers have dropped massive news about the Animaniacs reboot coming in 2020. Yes! A sneak peek trailer has dropped just um, a couple days ago, the 14th. Yep. And we are all very, very excited exactly. about Exactly. So far we've only seen stuff for like the main trio, the the Warner kids, yep. Yep, and thank you. And Pinky and the Brain. Yeah, yeah. Though, hopefully, we'll still get some of the other characters in there, too. Yeah. Uh, I, so, the, as evident by the title of this video, we're going to be doing some uh, talking about uh, Animaniacs, some, uh, I guess, speculation, or our thoughts on what we see so far, mm -hmm. uh, uh, rumors, characters, uh, well... <laughs> We'll, we'll see what we can find. Yeah, I mean, by no means is, is this, there, there is no script here, there is no God, script. This is just, this is just going to be us rambling on, talking about random things about Animaniacs. And, and snacking. <laughs> in preparation of this video, mm -hmm. I, I decided to get, get as much information I could before. Good, because I didn't. <laughs> The way I took the notes. Uh, so there's some information. There's some good news. That's good. There's some somewhat bad news. That's bad. Uh, I brought it down to thoughts. Images of a poster within Warner Brothers Animation Studio, Ooh. <laughs> which you, you might find interesting. Uh, characters and then just again speculation. Right. So I guess let's start with our our thoughts on what we've seen so far with the sneak peek trailer. They didn't show uh, much of the new animation. No, but but and there, it's mainly been like a lot of rough sketches and storyboard. Yeah, animatics but, and yeah. storyboard. But the small little bit that we have seen look really good. Oh yes. Like it looks like more HD of the old stuff, and it looks perfect. Absolutely. But the main thing we really want to get to is the voice cast and how they've been doing as that. Oh yeah. <laughs> like li listening to that, I'm like, this is gold. Everyone is, is back. on point. Everyone is back. They still got the magic touch. Okay. I, sure. This is probably jumping ahead a little bit, but then, sure. But sure. Do you think they'll bring back the wheel of morality? Oh, <laughs> that's a good question. <laughs> but we don't like the wheel of morality. We have to do it. The regulations say. <laughs> Possibly. <laughs> it, it is possible. Especially with today's climate, they'll nail that one on the head. Uh, yeah, uh, what we've seen, what he saw, I saw, what all of you saw, hopefully. Hopefully. Wait, if, you, if you haven't, like, what are you waiting for? Go, 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 watch, go, go that. watch it. Go do it now. Go now! Do it now! Do it now! Do it. <laughs> yeah, but seriously, if, if you haven't seen it yet, go watch that sneak peek trailer. It's quite good. It's good. <laughs> Okay. All right. Anyways, back on the topic. All right. Uh, how about let's jump into the poster leak that was in the. Internet. I have not seen it. You'll have to show. Oh, me. It's quite interesting. It's quite interesting. Oh. Here it is. Okay. So. Yeah. Uh, you got, I'm trying to see who's up top. Yeah. That's 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 really the key part of this discussion here about this poster is everyone on top of the water tower. Like we we see Wacko, Yakko, and Dot and Pinky the Brain falling from the water Jump tower. From the tower yeah, we like, we see the old guard, he's still there. Yeah, yeah. That, but yeah. who the heck are these other three? Especially so, that muscular dude, who the He's like the 
he's got like a crimson chin thing going on there. So apparently, uh, three of the four of them up top are new characters that are coming into the show. Okay, I was like thinking like that. We, we all know who the guard was immediately yeah, once yeah, we saw him. Yeah, Ralph R Ralph is confirmed back. Yes! Ralph is back! Everyone's favorite security guard is back. <laughs> the guy on the top, uh, he is apparently a one-off character. The guy singing? Yeah, up top. Uh, uh, the, yeah, the, yeah, the guy up top, uh, he's like apparently a, a one-off character in the first episode, and you're not going to see him again. Hey, they, they, so, Freakazoid did it all the time, I'm not surprised. There's not a lot of information about these new characters. Well, of course, because, like you said, it's hard to come by this info. Yeah. I have no idea about that uh, broad, muscular person, uh, bodybuilder guy. I don't know much and you about can easily that. Say, and you can easily see his pectorals, too. It's weird. Yeah, it's very bizarre. Oh, I just noticed the sandwich Wacko was holding. The one in the center, however, uh, that that lady in that sort of business kind of yeah, I was thinking you, like is she supposed to that, be like a head person at the that, company? Been the business clothes. Um, from what I could gather, she is the new CEO of Warner Brothers. Oh no! So that means at some point in time between these twenty-seven years, Mr. Plotz has stepped down from CEO. And this lady has taken his place. I can see all the hijinks of the new person coming oh, in yes. and so, like either trying to resist the Animaniacs yeah. or just like going with the flow, trying to go with the flow. So who knows how this uh, interaction between these characters is going to go. Um, or it could be... Uh, it could be cooperation or it could be mild cartoon violence. <laughs> <laughs> mild cartoon violence. That's all Animaniacs is, come on. Yeah. We'll see! We'll, we'll find out, we'll have to find <laughs> out. <laughs> Poster, very... Promising. Very promising, Hold a lot of mysteries, a lot of questions, but hopefully... <laughs> Sorry, you said mystery and all I thought was Gravity Falls. <laughs> but hopefully we'll have yeah. most of the answers come the first episode. Cannot wait! Yeah, so that's the poster. <laughs> Characters. Like, like we've said, so as of right now, thanks to the poster, we have three new ones. Three new ones. A po one is a possible one-off. A yeah, possible one-off, yes. Then we have the new CEO character, possibly. Possibly, yep. Yeah. Um, the waters, of course, of are course, back. Of, uh, of course, uh, for obvious reasons. Pink and, and, and the Brain are back in... Obvious brain. reasons. Yeah. They were so good that they got their own spin-off show. Yep. Yeah. And then... A second one that we don't really like to talk about. I got some more notes of characters returning. You're gonna love this. Oh. Our favorite psychiatrist, Dr. Scratch and Sniff, is returning. Yes! How do you think about these girls? Why do you only think about girls? Hey, you're the one showing me the sexy pictures. pictures. <laughs> Uh, let's see, like we said before, Ralph is returning, and for confirmed information, that's all we know. Yeah, and I just thought of something, though. Do you think they're gonna pull a power buff goes on us with Hello Nurse? I was just about to get into that. Uh, this, is where we, this is where we get to the bad news. They're gonna do it! No! Um, uh, there's no real nice way to put this, folks. Um, as of right now, as the information goes, uh, Hello Nurse is not going to be returning in this reboot. The best joke is gone! Uh, unfortunate, but true. Uh, I'm not sure how this uh, continuation is going to fare uh, without uh, Hello Nurse or uh, that iconic catchphrase that everybody knows, that running gag. I suppose for the meantime, uh, let's let's stay optimistic. Let's stay positive. Um, I'm sure uh, th they'll work something out. Um, yeah. Uh, again, it's a product of his time, right? And of course, uh, if it was like a full-blown reboot, right? Uh, they could probably you know rework like Hello Nurse and more of, oh, like, a, more of like the kind of uh, um, eyebrow-raising characters, right? Because. You know, it's like, we can, we can you know, tweak it a little. Yeah, we gotta turn down the dial, you know, make them less, you know... Sexualized. Yeah, thank you. Um, but, with, but with a show that's a continuation, you're, you're more limited in what you can do with certain characters that will not fly into today's time period. Mm, I, I, but I feel like they still could include Hello Nurse in some fashion? Like, 
Just as a background side character. Yeah, something, or at least kind of give her a, a, the proper kind of send off, or maybe make note of the, make, make reference to. Like, right, like, right. Oh, she like got a better job doing this somewhere because <laughs> she she was tired of the, of the Water Bros. Here's an idea. If they could get Hello Nurse to work, then maybe they could try to incorporate the fact that she's a secret agent. You know, boom, pow, bad guys, gadgets, ninjas. You get the picture, right? Yeah, but even then, they would kind of have to tone that down as well. Mm. It's an idea. She's got, she's got big brains, so she's probably got a better job. She, she does got big brains. Another cast that they hopefully will still have. Yeah. The pigeons. Yeah, that, that was, I was just about to get into that. Um, yeah, we're not sure about the good feathers. Um, because... Because that's kind of an iffy topic, wasn't yeah, it? Could, yeah, because it ties to the mob and the martial. Well, come on, The Sopranos is a really heavy show right now, so I wouldn't be surprised if they did, just to make fun of that. Yeah, but, yeah, but, uh, Who knows if they'll make a cameo appearance. Right. The God Rita. Pigeon, probably not. <laughs> <laughs> While editing this segment, I did find some more information uh, regarding the Good Feathers, uh, more specifically the character of Squid. Um, apparently, he is confirmed to be appearing in the Animaniacs 2020 reboot. Uh, unfortunately, that's all I really know. There's not much else to go off of, so um, who knows? He may still be rocking with the Good Feathers, or he could be rocking with a new flock. Who knows? It's all up in the air for speculation. It's not confirmed nor denied. We're just kind of talking about our thoughts on like what this is. It's like, could this happen? Maybe, maybe not. It's up in the air. Let's hope for the best. It is a possibility. Mm. There was a lot of uh, offshoot segments that were just kind of like... The chicken. Yeah! <laughs> the chicken! Chicken boo. It was... It was... It was okay. It was hit or miss. It, yeah, it was. But... There, again, there was a lot of other secondary character segments that was like, eh, I don't really like this this much. The man on stage, who? <laughs> That's what I'm asking! <laughs> who's on first? What's on second? I don't know who's on third! Wait, who was shortstop? No, that was first base. Ah! <laughs> yeah, uh, yeah, the secondary... I'm like, I'm, not, I'm like, I'm not rooting for bringing back other secondary characters that were kind of like, right. eh... Uh, the character of Slappy Squirrel, um, <laughs> I'm not going to fully rule that out. Honestly, because out of the secondary characters, her, uh, Slappy and, what was Skippy. Skippy. Slappy and Skippy were, like, hands down some of the funny side characters. Alright, <laughs> alright. At least let her have, like, a, a final appearance or some sort of cameo. If, if she's going to be, like, thrown out. But yeah, if, if, yeah, at least give her a proper send-off, because everyone loves Slappy Squirrel. Yeah. And we do! <laughs> she is funny as hell. Just she is the curmudgeon character. Yeah. <laughs> now all I can think of for right now is uh, the brain. Charlie Sheen Lima Bean. <laughs> yeah, but stick a dynamite down your pants. <gasps> <laughs> We're hold, all right, the, the, we're holding on of, of all of all of the secondary characters. Our our highest hope is that Slappy, Slappy Scroll will return in some way, way shape, or form. shape or form. Yes. Uh, let's see. Uh, moving along. Oh yes, this you may find interesting. This is also going to tie into the speculation category of this video. Oh. Uh, there are there have been rumors going around. Oh. That. Oh boy. Don't keep me in suspense, man! That a certain superhero character might be making a cameo. <gasps> really? Runs around in underwear. Freak, freak is on. Freak, freak is, is on. on. Is coming back. Yes! In some way, shape, shape or form. form. Probably not in the first season, mm -hmm. potentially in maybe the second season. Well, I'm not sure if you know, but like a few. I think it was like two years back or whatever. Uh, they did a specific Freakazoid con with the creators. Yes, that's true. That's true. They did do that, so he definitely has the popularity to easily come back. Oh, yeah. Wait, do you think the cop is also going to make a slight cameo, too? Uh, Cosgrove? I, 
that could also open a whole new can, can of worms. Cause, to, cause to, to bring in other Freakazoid related characters. I only dine at three star restaurants. I'm subscribed to the New Yorker. It's possible we could. Uh, we though could. that also could open a floodgate to another show that you love. Oh yeah, yeah. Uh, again, this is again this is tying to the speculation piece. Uh, if Freakazoid is going to appear in this reboot, then perhaps, then maybe this is uh, the Animaniacs 2020 reboot will follow a similar Ducktales. Yeah, a similar structure. structure to Ducktales, where they slowly integrate other Disney afternoon properties into one universe. And hopefully, for you, we get to see. It's two specific bunnies. <laughs> I, I hope that... Because 2020 is the 30th anniversary of Tiny Toons. I did not know that! Holy... See, this is why I have you to tell me these things. This this can open up a lot. Um, cause, Crack this show wide open! Oh yeah. Because that, cause that's gonna... That, that's, what's, that's what's gonna bring... Everyone back. That's, that's what's gonna bring oh, all the really well. That that's just what's gonna bring all the fans back, just like DuckTales did. That, that's what unified the fans. I have a feeling though that they will bring all the properties back in some way, shape, or form. Because <laughs> Animaniacs has crossed over with Tiny Toons and Freakazoid before in the past. And they and most certainly would And they should. Yeah, and there and there are certainly a whole lot of Tiny Toon Adventures references throughout pop culture media. Oh completely. Even to this day. Uh, all the, <laughs> what, what was her name, the girl duck? Shirley. Shirley. Just, I can imagine her being her valley girl self on her freaking phone. Oh my, oh my god, that'd be perfect. I can just imagine it! <laughs> you have given me brilliant ideas. You're welcome. <laughs> oh, that's genius. <laughs> that is genius. Though, <laughs> and, uh, oh, I can't think of her name now. The skunk. Fifi. Thank you, Fifi. And she's just scrolling through like dating apps. Swipe right. <laughs> How many swipe rights has she done? <laughs> a little too many, I would think. I think it would be interesting if they brought back some Tiny Tin Adventures characters. Uh, granted, it would probably be for one episode, but it could be used to show how they would adapt to a more modern environment. Like Animaniacs, much has happened between now and their last airing. They could reminisce about 90s culture while also staying current by referencing slash parodying today's culture. It could spark a show revival. The same could apply to Freakazoid. Talking about the speculation stuff, do you think they'll try to remake some of the old episodes? Just like more modernized? I, I feel they will bring back like some gags. They'll, they'll, they'll rework and like... Because some... my first thought... What if they redid the Star Wars episode with today's Star Wars stuff? <laughs> Ooh, that's gonna be a. Mm, that, that's gonna be a little hard, especially since Disney has a choke hold on that. Oh, they have a force choke on that. Yeah. Okay, then they'll go for a Star Trek route. It's, it's true. I mean, they have made fun of Star Trek in the past. <laughs> <laughs> Though, do you think they'll be able to make as much political jokes as they used to? Honestly? Specifically Trump-related jokes. Honestly? I'm not going to put it past them. I'm not going to rule it out. I mean, of course... I mean, of course, I mean... Animaniacs made fun of... Had, had made political jokes in the past. And Completely. The original, so... I mean, of course, they may have to tone it down a bit, but they'll still be there. Of course, of course, there still will be some. Imagine the slew of stuff that they could do parodies of nowadays. Oh yeah, there is definitely a lot of material for them to do parodies and stuff. Last week, Hulu released an exclusive clip of the Animaniacs 2020 reboot, in the form of a Jurassic Park parody, no less. A parody of the most memorable scene from the original movie, which props to them this this is a great analogy. They hit the nail on the head with this. To me, this shows that they're not afraid to reference and spoof older material. I believe that they'll make spoofs and adaptations of older and newer properties to appeal to both kids and adults alike. Uh, not not just like movie parodies, but like music parodies like they used oh, yeah. to. Oh yeah, okay, oh yeah. <laughs> oh yeah. Uh, yeah, there, there, yeah, there is, uh, there is, oh yeah, I forgot to mention some of the music stuff. Because there's, 
Then of course, this is a very heavy musical-based cartoon. It is. And so they're, 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 they have been working. There's gonna be there's gonna be more songs. Yes. There's gonna be a lot more songs. They're they're pushing for a full-on orchestra backing track. <laughs> yeah. Like the original, which is props to them. That's very good. <laughs> it's quality. It is quality. How many of them are going to be joke songs, and how many of them are going to be educational songs? Who knows? <laughs> we, get a, we get the full sequel to the country thing from Yakko's <laughs> No, sir. Uh, um, United States, Canada, Mexico, Panama, Haiti, Jamaica, Peru. <laughs> <laughs> Who knows? Because, uh, because honestly, knowing your countries and your states and capitals, that's, that, that's very important. Very important. Very important. Episodes. Mm -hmm. uh, the writing and the gags, according to certain so various sources, are very good. Good. And it's going to be a mixed bag of, hey, I really liked that episode, and hey, this episode was lesser so than the previous episode. But then, oh, hey, this episode was really good. Oh, so it's so, going to be a bit of a mixed bag. Yeah, it's going to be a mixed bag good. of good and lesser good, but mostly good episodes. Well, that's, that's, that is... Oh, yes. That, that's very that's promising. Very promising, yes. Very promising. Mm. Are we talking about, like... Half hour episode ish, or like... uh, I don't know of official time length, okay. but I think it's gonna be very similar in runtime, like say 22 minutes to 30 minutes. Okay, that's good. Next thing you know, though, the first episode's like a, almost a full hour long. <laughs> a lot of series have that first ap episode be oh, that yeah. hour long now. Oh, yeah, they're, they're... like DuckTales almost had it with their two parter. Yeah, yeah, so. I'm not sure how the first episode of Animaniacs will go, because there, there's, there's a lot. Actually, <laughs> thinking of that, how they would do like the hour-long first episode, it's just them combating the new CEO with that one-off character somehow tying into it. I don't know. <laughs> I will have to try to convince my family to get Hulu, just so my little sisters can watch the new Animaniacs. Like, hey, 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 hey. Okay. And, and enough with your... DreamWorks drag kid dragon rider things. Watch some quality stuff. I Educate yourselves. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> Make sure you preserve your uh, your VCR. Completely. Remember what that was, kids? I I had a VHS all the time. Yeah. Look, yeah. I was I was yeah I was at a time where VHS was VHS tapes were a thing, and then they just slowly phased out. So I am going to just like how VCR. Just, just like how. Blockbuster faded out. Oh yeah, there's still one in Alaska. I know. I think no, actually no. It was in Oregon. Oh, was it in Oregon? Yeah, it's in Oregon. It's the last blockbuster. Oh, I thought it was in Alaska. Huh? No, it's in Oregon. And oh, you know what the best part is? You can rent the store out for a night. You can use the TV that has oh, DVD and VCR. Oh, so you can do movie nights there. Literally, you oh, rent the so place out for the night. Oh, You're badass. able to use their pizza maker and their popcorn machine. That is amazing. And you have free reign of any movie or game in the store. That's awesome. Honestly, um, going forth, I want to try and preserve as much 90s pop culture as I possibly can. I know He says I was wearing a Darkwing Duck shirt. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Uh, yeah, uh, getting back on track because we took a wild turn there. Hey, hey. hey. <laughs> but it was worth it. Definitely. Um, yeah, I definitely hope that we bring back some of the other uh, Steven Spielberg properties and they're there. We all remember them, love them as we did before, but with a more modern twist. Right. A little bit more of that modern zest, but not too much. I just thought of something. Go ahead, I'm listening. What if they bring back the Animaniacs, not just as a show, but they make a tie-in game platformer, collect-a-thon platformer. That is interesting because they did make, they did have a GameCube game. Was it a collect-a-thon? Yeah, it was kind of like that. Yeah. Cool. And that was uh, that was like pop, like pop, the last remnant traces of the original show, and that was back in 2005. It had a good run, and everybody freaking loved it. As they should. This series is amazing. It's gold. It's. It's... <laughs> it is comedy gold. It's... It, yeah, it's... Ba. Ba, black sheep. Have you? Any wool? <laughs> well! Uh, now, well. So. So, in conclusion, uh, we have a lot of questions, theories, spec... A lot of speculation. Mostly, mostly speculation, yes. And but all together... A lot of hopes. A lot of hopes. But all together, very excited for this. True. Very, very true. 
So, um, I guess this is where we close off the video. All right. This has been Solar Master and French Guy 261, and we are signing off. Well, good night, everybody. You gotta do it right. Good night, everybody. Thank you everyone for watching. What do you think of the Animaniacs 2020 reboot so far? Be sure to leave your thoughts in the comment section below. Uh, also be sure to check out Soarmaster's channel. Uh, just, just a fair warning, uh, there may be a small amount of strong language. Until next time, au revoir.